What's going on, everybody? I hope everyone's having a great weekend. I'm glad to be back here. Uh, I've taken a few days off again. And one of the reasons is I had a real bad, I don't want to say a sinus infection, but I definitely had some crud. Um, and I got a handful of comments about my sniffing and uh, snorting. And I know I do that when I'm congested. I can snort. So um, I have been hitting the Sudafed and <laughs> everything possible to get through this and just a lot of congestion. So my sinuses are kind of clear right now. So I figured let's capitalize on this healthy moment here and uh, do a video because I don't want to gross anyone out. I don't. It would gross me out too. Notice I just tried to take a nice, normal breath through my nose. So, so uh, I mentioned this in my last video, and I thought it would be a good thing to talk about, uh, which is holidays. We are, you know, we just had Thanksgiving with Christmas and New Year's Eve ahead. So, I want to talk about holidays. Why? Because, as I mentioned in my last video... Holidays for, I would say, a lot of people. I don't know the percentage. But holidays is not always full of cheer for people. And I know this because I can relate. There's different, there's a spectrum of this, of course, like anything. Uh, but I, I know that there are many of you out there that struggle with holidays and I just want to tell you you're not alone because I do too um, it could be a you know varied reasons on the lighter end it could be man I love the, the getting together with family but the planning and the cooking is a nightmare and it always stresses me out that people say that you know but and that's very valid. That is stressful. I would say probably the majority of people feel that. It is stressful. It's all at once. It's a big deal. Um, others might be like financial. Man, it's just, I love the spirit. I love Christmas. I love getting together with the family. But man, it's just so hard financially to to really feel like I'm, I'm providing for my children with with good gifts to make sure they feel like they have an awesome Christmas. That's a big one too. Just making sure that, man, like I, ho I want my kids to have a good Christmas. And that can be stressful. I've been there too. Even if it's not financial and you still want to just, you got to be Santa Claus. I've felt that too, where it's like, I got to wrap the gifts, put some under the tree, hide others, bake some cookies, write the note, uh, you know, like make sure that Santa Claus was present. That might stress some people out too. And then on the far end, on the other side, you know, holidays could be a trigger for some very bad memories as a childhood. Whether you had bad Christmases, broken families, um, if Christmas makes you think of someone that abused you, then now every holiday you're getting triggered to think about that situation or those memories or that person or there's so many different things that attach to a holiday because holiday is, it's very in your face. You know, it's like a day you have to remember, like Christmas. It's, it's such, a, it's like you're forced to have to be somewhere do things for the most part. A lot of people don't celebrate it at all, um, even aside from religious reasons. Um, you know, once I became a dad, uh, it changed, and it got better for me. But I'll get to me here in a second. But, um, but Christmas can just. Oh, I, I, why am I focusing on only Christmas? Really, it can be any holiday. 
But for whatever reason, for me, Christmas is the one that is the most stressful because I think it's the most involved. There's the out of all the holidays, I think it's the one that asks the most out of people. <laughs> you know, and the shopping. You know, even if you have an awesome family and you have a great time and you love cooking and you, you're fortunate and you have the finances to give a great Christmas, but shopping sucks. Okay, well, now that's one thing that you're like, oh, I'm glad Christmas is here, but I can't wait to get the shopping over with. And it puts you in a position where you got to do something that makes you feel uncomfortable. But you do it because you're family and friends. So I know we're not alone I've definitely got a bunch of comments from you. In my last video, towards the end of the video, I mentioned this topic. And a lot of you chimed in. You're like, yeah, I, I'm not a fan of holidays either for varying reasons. So how I relate to it. Now, first off, I have to just be upfront and honest and, and be grateful because as a child, the actual gift giving like what I got for Christmas was very generous. I had awesome Christmases when I was a kid. The family got together. What we, how we would do it is I grew up with my grandparents until I was like 11 or so. My mom and I lived at her parents' house. So right there and there, you know, I, I got I to gotta step it up because I got grandparents now spoiling me as well on top of my mom. And we would have our Christmas morning. Me, Mom, and Meme and Pepe. That was my Christmas morning through my childhood. On Christmas Eve, my mother's sister and her family would come over. Uh, my mom's sister and her husband and their three sons, my three cousins. And that was tradition too. Every Christmas Eve, they would come to us. And we would, we would you know, exchange gifts family to family. So I would open gifts for my aunt, uncle, and cousins, and vice versa. And that's how we did it for years. And we would eat on Christmas Eve. That was also when we would do the big, the food, all the food. So I can't complain. I never went without, about with that. And the family did get together. What made it difficult for me was... The family. <laughs> you know, um, sometimes, you know, families can be argumentative and loud. And that was definitely my family. And, you know, when I was a kid, kid, who cares? I was just looking forward to tearing open some gifts and hoping I get Legos. Uh, but it was always stressful in that sense because the family was stressed. Uh, my mom would get stressed. My grandmother would get stressed we, you know, over the food. It was just always stressful. And then as we got older, then we kind of stopped doing the tradition. Then Christmas kind of just, in a way, vanished. <laughs> You know, it wasn't it wasn't really a big thing anymore. We did it. You know, uh, I can't remember when we stopped having Christmas trees. Um, and I don't want to be Debbie Downer here, either. And I'm not anti-holiday. Let me let me be honest with that too. You know, holidays are are fun. They're great, uh, but not for some. So I'm supporting them. I'm supporting you right now. That has these kind of hang-ups and issues with holidays. But some, another situation, and this is where I tie in too, is, you know, that period where I was without child, I had no kid, and single, well, that's a bummer too. You know, and there's a lot of people out there that are alone. They love Christmas, but they're alone. Maybe they don't, they've moved away. They love their family. They just couldn't make it home for the holiday because of work or what have you, the not in a relationship, in between relationships, oh God, you know, you, you just had a breakup two months before Christmas, and now it's your first Christmas alone, and, and that's a bummer too. So that's a crappy Christmas for that person. 
And I fell into that trap too. But because I was so not interested in the hoobla and the and the, the stresses behind the, the, the buying and the wrapping and and the stressful family get together. So when I was out and kind of just doing my own thing, I was fine. So Christmas wasn't that big a deal. But it was still always a bummer in the back of my head. Like, man, I wish you know, I it wasn't this way. Like, uh, so many of my friends right now are enjoying a nice Christmas. Um, but here I am, not, but not caring, not really wanting to celebrate it because I'm 25 years old and live on my, by myself and just doing my thing. And maybe, uh, maybe I probably went to my mom's and grandparents' house to say hello. And, you know, there's always some gift giving. Again, this isn't, I'm not bashing my family here at all. I really hope that's not coming across that way. But families have stories and, 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 and every family has their own dynamic. That's the key word. Every family has their own dynamic. Um, but I know there's so many of you out there that's way more serious than this and for all kinds of different reasons. So I'll wrap it up this way. I want to send two messages out there. First, I want to talk to the people that are watching this that love holidays and we'll focus on Christmas love Christmas you love every aspect of it you like the shopping you're crazy enough to go shopping on Black Friday you love the wrapping because it feels like an art form you make the most amazing bows you love cooking you're a great cook your family loves your cooking family gets together you have a great time great gifts it's always like positive first off congratulations <laughs> but just know that you know you there's other people out there that struggle with with Christmas. So be super grateful for what you do have. Okay? And just know there's people out there that don't have that opportunity, ability, desire. Uh the, the holiday could be the worst day of the year for that person. You just don't know that. So I guess just be grateful for what you have. But then I want to talk to the ones that are not into the holiday, not into Christmas. Understand that I know sometimes it's difficult when someone says, hey, happy, uh, Merry Christmas. And it makes you want to punch that person in the face. <laughs> when you're like, oh, like, I don't want to hear Merry Christmas. Bah humbug, you know, I don't want to hear it. And you might even say something. You might even be like, I don't want to hear it. Who knows? You know, some people are going to be a little more intense than others. I want to ask you to have some patience in understanding that the person that's saying Merry Christmas to you doesn't know your story. And, is, and that person is saying it with all the right intentions. Um, you don't have to say it back. You have every right to feel the feelings that you have when you hear it. Absolutely. Um, but don't, don't hate the messenger that the person scanning your bacon and eggs at Walmart, when he or she says, Merry Christmas, they're just trying to be nice, you know, um, and, and don't get upset at them. <laughs> but if those words trigger something, it's by all means, it's your right to feel how you feel. Um, and I'm sorry if walking into a store and seeing happy holidays and Merry Christmas and all this stuff everywhere and seeing the, the Christmas section of Walmart or the, the, you know, all the Thanksgiving signs and everything, if that's a trigger for you, you know, I, I feel bad, you know, I wish that wasn't. And obviously now you got to look at some coping skills or you don't shop for, you know, you don't go shopping from the third week of October to the second week of January, <laughs> you know, whatever, because, <laughs> you, you know, with stores these days, I mean, come mid October, they're already, they've already set up stuff for Thanksgiving and they're, they're starting to put together the, the Christmas section. It's crazy nowadays. So it's just in your face. Um, so you can't avoid that sometimes. So I would say 
and do as you do, however you cope with all that. But I know sometimes hearing, hey, Merry Christmas, and you're in a crap mood, you just want to just stop talking to me. <laughs> I get that. And it's okay to feel that way, but understand that person means no ill will. They don't know your story, nor should they. And I guess that goes across the board, too. I'm just in general, and I'm, I'm guilty of this, too. I get impatient with people. I get imp impatient with drivers. Um, people just aggravate me sometimes. Um, when someone's rude or just short, I, it upsets me. But then you always hear it like, well, you don't, you never know what that person's going through. There's plenty of times I've been short and, and crabby with customer service. That's the big one. I, I'm pretty hard on people trying to give me customer service. I'll admit that I can be short and just testy. And, but I can say, and one would, some would call this an excuse, but I'll say, Sometimes I'm in that mood because I'm going through a crappy time or something stressing me out. But that person doesn't know that. So try to be patient when you're dealing with someone crabby because you never know what they're going through. But if you're the one being the crab ass like me, understand that that person in front of you isn't trying to make your life difficult. <laughs> if they don't have an answer for you, it's because they don't have an answer for you, but they're trying to find one for you. I'm talking to myself right now. <laughs> Giving myself a powwow. So, but look, uh, I hope you all having a great weekend. We got Christmas in like two weeks, I think it is, or three weeks. Um, my suggestion is if shopping and the wrapping is part of your stressor, start now. This is what I do. I, st I don't wait till the last minute anymore. That's an easy way to to take control of that that little subset of stress that's surrounded by Christmas, the shopping part. Get it over with. Get it done. Don't wait till the last minute. So with that said, take care. And um, I hope I didn't snort or sniff without realizing it for you all. If I did, I apologize. I'm trying to get through this little nasal congestion thing. And uh, I want to get back on track, too. This week, I'm going to try to push out more videos and talk to y'all about whatever I want to talk about. All right, guys. Have a great day. Thank you.